What's good YouTube, Guy and Kicks here. So in today's video, I'm finally reviewing the Nike and Tom Sachs general purpose shoe. Definitely a shoe that I wanted from the moment I saw it, but took it on the official release, took it on the first restock, but I was able to cop these on the second restock. So I'm glad to finally have these in hand. Let me show you guys a first look and let's talk about these. So these officially released on June 10, 2022 for a retail price of $110 and they dropped through the Tom Sachs website and it was basically a raffle type system. You would enter your information and then if you were chosen, you would then get an email to then purchase the shoe. I took an L on that official drop and then the shoe on the resale market just blew up, which was a little bit crazy to me, even though I knew that there was going to be some hype because of the whole Tom Sachs and Nike relationship, but I didn't think that the shoe was going to be that crazy. And even though I liked the shoe a lot, it wasn't a shoe that I really loved that I was going to pay resale for. And what's cool about the whole thing is that Tom Sachs did come out publicly on his Instagram account and did say that there was going to be another restock in August. Of course, I was ready for that restock, but took an L there again. Luckily, I was able to get these on the second restock a couple of weeks ago. So according to the Tom Sachs website, your sneakers should not be the most exciting thing about you. They are tools. They do their job so you can do yours. And the shoe took 10 years to make, which is kind of funny because it does look similar to a Nike Waffle 1. When it comes to the materials on the upper, the overlays here is that light gray suede that you'll find on the eye stays, on the mud guard, all the way to the back of the shoe on the heel counter. You do have like a soft microfiber material around the heel collar of the shoe, which is gonna make that feel a little bit better and you don't have that part of the shoe sort of digging in your ankle. On the underlays here, you have a knitted material or mesh material, however you wanna describe it. Above the mud guard there on the toe box, you have this TPU material that goes all the way into the mid panels of the shoe. And then the Swoosh logos are also made out of that similar material. These only come with these light gray pairs of laces. On the inside of the shoe, you have the Nike Craft and Swoosh logo on the tongue and on the back of the shoe you have these nylon pull straps and they are in that cool royal blue all the way to the heel part of the shoe you find a deboss nike logo on the midsole and cushioning system the shoe features a three-piece molded cupsole durable rubber outsole soft gum rubber midsole and an eva foam core the midsole on these definitely feels very solid and it feels like it will last a very long time switching over to the outsole you have an all black rubber outsole you have the nike craft and nike swatch all the way to the heel part of the outsole and then you have like this really cool kind of military branding or like serial code there in the middle that says US patent and then a serial number. And like I said earlier that these look similar to a Waffle One, we're here on this outsole you can really make that comparison here because the outsole looks very similar. And as you can see here, comparing the general purpose shoe to a Nike Waffle One, you can definitely make some comparisons here for sure, here on the outsole as well. So the reason why this took 10 years to make, I mean, I don't know. The shoes come in a custom box. Obviously you have the Nike Craft and Nike Swoosh logo there in the front. Definitely similar branding throughout the box here. So at least you definitely have an exclusive box to make the shoe feel a little bit more special. And then there you have the official tag in SKU. When it comes to sizing guys, I definitely recommend you go true to size here or go with your regular size. I'm a regular size 10 and most Nike sneakers, I go with a size 10 and like Jordans, you know, regular Nike sneakers like the Waffle Ones, I also went with a size 10. Similar here guys, just go with your regular size and you'll be fine. When it comes to the overall comfort guys, Guys, the midsole here definitely feels more on the firmer side. I wish it was just a little bit softer. Maybe you can replace the insoles or something like that. Overall, I think these will feel pretty good throughout the day. That you're not gonna feel like these are uncomfortable when you have to take them out. What I do like about the comfort is that they do have, you know, some padding here on the inside part of the shoe around the sock lining. So that's some added cushioning there just so that this, you know, material here is not like digging in your ankle. So that's definitely a plus. And like I said earlier, you have like this microfiber material, which is a cool little detail. So throw in here so that this ankle collar again is not, you know, digging in your ankle. So definitely nice details there. So overall, this comfort of the shoe is okay it's not nothing special all right guys so my final thoughts with these number one if these weren't a tom Sachs and these were a regular gr these will probably be sitting right now and we really wouldn't be talking about them like that but of course they're a nike and tom Sachs, so there's definitely hype there because of previous you know collaboration that they've done together and we definitely had to talk about these because of you know some of the hype that these shoes have received so far you know you definitely see these and there's nothing super special about these and i guess the campaign was right these 
are a boring shoe, but I like how they did that because of that sort of reverse psychology. Yeah, they're boring, but yet people want them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they definitely knew what they were doing and it's working so far. But putting that aside, once you actually get the shoe in hand, first of all, this colorway is definitely nice super wearable and the shoes really look good on feet as well it's like a nice classy sort of retro nike shoe that you can wear with a lot of outfits you can dress them up and also dress them down and they'll still look very classy i do like how the shoe feels overall like when you touch this midsole it feels sturdy it feels strong it feels like it's gonna last a very long time and they definitely nail that part of the shoe even though the shoe looks similar to other nike sneakers it's still its own shoe and its own model and that feels good it feels refreshing to talk about other nike sneakers that is not a retro one a nike dunk or an air max sneaker so overall guys i really like this shoe and to get them for retail is definitely a plus i wouldn't buy these for resale so just be patient there's going to be more restocks on these and hopefully you'll be able to grab them for retail so with that being said guys let me put these bad boys on and show you how they look on feet So that's it for me guys. Hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the Nike and Tom Sachs general purpose shoe. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this sneaker, what you think about this colorway, which was your favorite one, and could this be a contender for top 10 sneakers of 2022? And like always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. To all the new subscribers, thank you. If this is your first time stopping by and watching one of my videos or you've been here before but you haven't yet subscribed, Feel free to do so i would appreciate that very much like comment below as well i'll leave a link to my instagram page below where you guys can go check out my page there where i'm normally posting photos reels of sneakers you know new stuff that i'm copying all that good stuff so definitely check out my page there as well so that's it guys catch you guys in the next one peace